Good morning. Oops. Is this on? No? Doesn't matter. I don't think we need it. But anyway. Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to see you neighbors. It's just terrific. Morning, neighbors. Um, and I'm just going to say at the beginning, the coffee is there. The coffee will be there. Food will be there. Please get up. We want this to be informal and fun and a great conversation throughout the, uh, the next few minutes. So uh, please feel free to stretch your legs and uh, enjoy the wonderful uh, hospitality of the Colgate Inn. So thank you, Ben, wherever you are, uh, and Jana. Um, it's really a pleasure uh, to welcome each of you here this morning uh, in this opportunity to, to join in a sharing of information with our newest neighbor, President Jeffrey Herbst and his wife Sharon and children who have just joined our community um, to share our experiences with the ups, about the ups, in the Upstate Institute and to reflect on the potential of the Institute to serve our region, full stop, to serve our region. And then to provide uh, Jeff Herbs an opportunity uh, to ask questions of us. I have learned firsthand that our new president asks terrific questions excellent questions, prep questions that allow us to reflect and learn. Uh, and I really look forward to what you'll pose to us um, to move our, our thinking ahead. And I want to welcome Je Jessica DeSaris, uh, who is the Communications Director for Senator uh, Dave Valeski, who I know very much wanted to be here. He's been in touch with our office on a regular basis, but he's been a little busy. I don't know if you've been listening to the news, but late, you know, in Albany last night, today, so um, he's working for us and for the 90, 49th district. So thank you very much for joining us. Let me begin with the mission of the Upstate Institute, which informs what Julie Dudrick and I do every day, and also how we've organized this session this morning. The mission of the Upstate Institute is to create linkages between Colgate University and the regional community, to engage students, faculty, staff, and residents in research and a reciprocal transfer of knowledge that will enhance the economic, social, and cultural capacity of the area and sustain the environment. These projects provide a model of community collaboration and civic engagement for our students and within higher education. The Institute values scholarly collaboration as a way to support the region. Yes, indeed, certainly not a soundbite, more of a mouthful. It always has been. But as members of each of our advisory boards, many of whom are here this morning, and I, I sincerely thank you, as we all appreciate, we work every day at pursuing these goals to build partnerships, to create knowledge about and for this region, to model to our students the value of collaboration in producing knowledge, and to share that knowledge and creativity. I believe I can speak on behalf of the faculty, and I look at Tim McKay and Bruce and Abby Rowe who are with me this morning, and of the many staff members who are also here this morning who've been involved in the programs of the Upstate Institute, that it is a privilege to work with and learn from members of the Upstate community, and it is always a complete pleasure, and to meet, meet, meet new friends and form new partnerships. Now, I've written these words here. You can see my, my head kind of bobbing up and down. It really don't, it, these words really don't capture how um, passionately I feel about the Upstate Institute, how Bruce does, how Tim does, and our faculty colleagues, how important this area of this um, example of a research institute can benefit um, uh, oceans of, of people and communities beyond Colgate. Uh, and it is a privilege, as I say, to learn from each and every one of you. Um, to begin the sharing of information with President Herbs, we've asked four persons who have served as community partners with the Upstate Institute to describe their experiences 
and also uh, to describe what they, to reflect upon what they see as the potential for the Institute to continue to contribute to our region. We've also invited three students who are currently serving as fellows of the summer field school of the Upstate Institute to reflect on their experiences that are really ongoing. We're still working this week. <laughs>